YouTube, it's your boy Professor Rich. I'm here with another lesson for you guys today. If you haven't been watching till the end, you're going to want to watch this whole entire video because at the end, I'm going to be dropping some major game guaranteed to work on how to capture a woman's mind for life and have her come back to fuck you the best she's ever had has in her whole entire life. If you haven't already, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share my content so I can grow my channel and reach my goal of 100 subscribers. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Peace. YouTube, what the fuck is good? It's your boy, Rich. Welcome back to the club channel. Uh, before I start again, I just want to let everyone know who watches my channel that I appreciate you for taking the time to view my content. Second, I don't know when I'm going to drop this video. I drop them out of order. When I make them, I got like, I think like more than 12 videos I haven't even posted yet that I'm just waiting to post. But I want to make sure I shout out my bro Alex, my bro Mitch, my bro Davon, my bro Jeff, and who else? I forget the last person, but I just want to shout you guys out. Because I know that some of my new subscribers that I haven't got a chance to shout out yet. And if you subscribe to my channel, let me know so I can give you a shout out because I appreciate you. And shout out a smart, smart, smart architect man or something like that. He comments on my videos and had a good question. But I'm just going to hop in for the topic for the day. And the topic is semen retention. And this may be an uncomfortable thing to talk about. But a lot of people have told me the feedback I've gotten is that they enjoy watching my content because I talk about things that people want to talk about or thinking about, but they don't. And some of the things I talk about, a lot of people are going through and they think they may be the only one going through this. And you're not alone. Everyone goes through shit. So that's I'm here to talk about it. So before I start. I'm going to say that semen retention is not the same thing as no fap. And in the in the future, I'm going to be making a video on no fap explaining what it is. And I'm also going to be talking about again an uncomfortable topic, erectile dysfunction. A lot I know a lot of y'all niggas out here just shit not working the way it's supposed to. So I'm going to tell you why it's not. So stay tuned for that. But I'm just going to hop in to the video topic for the day. And just say, the the sad fact is, as men, as a collective, and as a whole, we're busting way too many nuts, sometimes on a daily basis, sometimes multiple times a day. And in this video, I'm going to break down why you shouldn't be busting as much nuts as a lot of you guys are busting. So, first things first, semen is literally life energy, like... That's why all of us are here today walking around. I know another big part is to do with the woman, but that is that's the seed that planted you. You feel me? Like that is why we're all here walking around. And in general, it contains a lot of nutrients, it contains energy, a lot of our masculinity, a lot of our testosterone. And a lot of y'all are draining that on a daily basis and it's letting it go in turn it's it's releasing our masculinity and we have been conditioned that it is normal to be busted nuts every single day multiple times a day and y'all are doing this and you're wondering why you have no testosterone you're acting feminine you're emotional as shit you don't have any muscle mass dog like First things first, if you're busting nuts more than once a day or multiple times a day, you have way too much time on your hands. You should be using that time and transmuting that energy to at least go to the gym, read a book, work on yourself, replace the habit with something else. And y'all out here busting nuts like Scarface uh, in that movie, say hello to my little friend, just busting hella nuts as much as possible, bro. I know a lot of y'all play Call of Duty and you treating your nut like a submachine gun or assault rifle. And you should be treating it like a sniper rifle. You should just be, nigga, 
once in a while, just letting letting one off. You feel me? And if you don't believe me, try not to bust a nut for 30 days and see how see how it changes you. See the results for yourself. Because I've been there. I'm a man like when I was little, I was busting hella nuts, like not knowing that this shit is unconsciously taking a, a toll on my body. And if anything, try not to bust enough for 30 days to build self-discipline and do it for yourself. Some of the results that you may feel or you may feel stronger in the gym, more mentally focused. Your aura and the energy you release around you will change and women will realize that. This is a fact. Go Google this shit. And another reason why you may want to just try not to bust enough for 30 days is do it for yourself because a lot of y'all, your girlfriend or your wife or your significant other is your right hand and your left hand. That's your, that's the, that's how in your mind you getting pussy, bro. But you're not really getting pussy. You just playing with yourself just every day just busting busting nuts left and right dog like and you busting so much nuts playing with yourself that you you lose the urge to pursue real woman you're watching porn all day dog and you don't when you see a real woman you don't even want to approach her because you just know that you can go home and go get some fucking lotion and play with yourself and this is a fact because i remember it was a man to go. I'm not going to say your name, bro. I don't even really talk to bro like that anymore. But he told me we was all chilling. And he told me, bro, I don't even get what the big deal about pussy is. Red flag number one. Because every man loves pussy. Second red flag is he said because I would honestly be okay not ever fucking another woman in my life because I know that I can just go home and beat off and go watch some porn. What what the fuck, dog? Like, did you hear what you just said? Like, you just said to me that you're cool with your left hand and your right hand for the rest of your life because you know that you can just jack off and you don't want to go get some pussy. Like, that's weird. That's the society that we're living in now. That's, that's our future generations, dog. Like, and a lot of you guys are probably thinking... Well, if I'm not busting enough for 30 days, does me fucking a woman count and busting a nut count? I'm going to say, yes, it counts, bro, because you can have sex without busting a nut. It's hard, but you can do it. And second, if you were busting nuts by fucking bitches, that's way better than just, you know what I'm saying? Like, for real, that's way better. But... I'm probably about to give you the biggest piece of game, if anything, for women on this channel right now. The best way to fuck with a girl's mind, I talk about this in my, my previous videos, you have to capture a woman's mind to have her completely in for life, man. The best way to do that, and also the best way to kind of like fuck with her, her sexual confidence and have her coming back to fuck the shit out with you, bro, is fuck her. And make her come, if you can, one time, multiple times. And I'll talk about how to make women come in my part two of my Punani principle. So go check that shit out because a lot of y'all niggas don't know how to fucking, don't know your way around the pussy as a grown ass man. And fuck her till she come, bro. And then just stop. It's like a Jedi mind trick, bro. Fuck her till she come. Fuck the shit out of her. Then just stop. Be like, oh, you, all right, cool. And she gonna be like, what the fuck? Because... Women talk about sex with their friends more than men. And they go and go tell their friends, yeah, like, this nigga just fucked this shit out of me. This nigga just blew my fucking back out. And they're going to be like, oh, yeah, girl, yeah. Did, did he come? And she's going to be like, nah. They're going to be like, what? And at, her friends are going to be giving her, coaching her, like, on new shit to do. And... The next time y'all fuck, she's going to fuck this shit out you and she's going to be determined to make you come, bro. And the reason for this is that 
especially if she's a bad bitch, bro. I've done this unconsciously for some of the most baddest women I fucked, bro. And the reason why <clears throat> this will fuck with her head because she's not used to that. If she's bad, she bad as shit. So she used to every dude she's fucking coming. Like sometimes coming quick as shit, like embarrassing themselves in the pussy. So she's going to look back at herself and say like, damn, like, did I do something wrong? Is something wrong with me? How can I find a way to fully please this man? And it's just like if... You, I know a lot of guys probably did this shit. I'm not trying to fuck the game up for y'all. But a lot of y'all will tell a girl you never came off head before. And what she going to do the next time she gives you head? She going to suck the shit out your dick, dog. She going to suck the fucking a golf ball out of the hole. Suck the fucking the blood out of the chamber, bro. She's going to suck. She's going to give you the best top you ever probably got in your life. Because... It's like reverse psychology. I don't know. This is just how women work. So that's my video for the day. Practice semen retention. See the results. Speak for themselves. And leave a comment in the section below. I know a lot of y'all probably not even going to watch this full video or get to this part. But if you did, I appreciate you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment on my shit, share my content so I can get more views on my channel and grow my channel and reach my goal of 100 subscribers. Boss the fuck up. Be easy. I don't know when you're watching this, but have a good day. Have a good night and continue to work on yourself and self-improve so you can become the best version of yourself and this improve on every aspect of your life. Peace. Be the fuck easy.